So I was looking on the internet and I was trying to find tutorials on how to install mods for Minecraft Dungeons. And well, you know what? I could not find any videos on it, but I did find a very handy article which taught me all about installing mods for dungeons. So I'm going to go and show you on how you can install mods for the Minecraft Dungeons game. And let's go and get right into this. I do want to point out, make sure that you go ahead and turn on developer mode over on your Windows PC. If you're not in developer mode, then it is not going to work. So what you need to do first is that you need to go ahead and download the UWP dumper and there will be a link down below the description. So this is the website. If I go ahead and scroll down, we have binaries. And I actually downloaded the time 64 one. But anyway, if I go ahead and open up Minecraft Dungeons, you have to make sure that Minecraft Dungeons is opened up first. And by the way, this tutorial, it is going to be for the Windows Store version. So if you're playing with the launcher version, that's also inside the article that I learned about this from. So you can go ahead and learn all about that as well. But just to let you know, this is only for the Windows Store tutorial. If I go ahead and open this up, then we get ourselves to two files. What I need to do is I need to go and extract that into its own folder. So right click, extract to, and then we're going to go ahead and drag that over to here. And now we have ourselves our dumper right inside this area. So next up, we're going to go and open up EWP injector. And you're going to be greeted with this command prompt. And it says, please put in the ID. So all these different IDs right here, these are going to be for activating different Windows things. But right here, we have dungeons. And the number, it is going to be different every time you open this up. So I'll just let you know right now. But you only have to do this once, which is really great. So you're going to go and type in this number right here which is 1976. I go and press enter and it may take a little bit of time for this to go ahead in the process, but whenever it is all done, then it is going to take you directly to the folder that you need to go to. And this is actually very cool because for modding on micro dungeons, you can do so many really cool things. And what the Doku Craft people have been doing over on Discord, they've been making it to where you can have your own custom skin inside of dungeons. And I actually like that quite a bit. So if you want to get your own skin mod for dungeons, then you can just go and head over to the Doku Craft Discord. But right here, we have cells dump. If I go ahead and drag this right over here, we actually can put this wherever we want, by the way. And we can just go ahead and close out this one. So you can just go and close out the injector. So there we go. And we have cells our folder right here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and rename this, just so we know what it is. So I'm just going to call this Dungeons Mods. And once that's renamed, I'm going to go and open this up. And whenever you open this up, you'll find yourself all these different files. But do not click on Dungeons because you do not want to open up this application. Instead, we're going to go ahead and edit the App Manifest. So I'm going to go ahead and come inside of here. We are still the App Manifest right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this back up. And we are still the code right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this. I'm going to go ahead and press Control C. I'm now going to go ahead and head back over to this text document. I'm going to go and paste that right inside there. I'm going to go and save that. And we're all done with that one. But there's one more step that you need to do before you can start putting mods to your game. So I'm going to come right up here. And we're going to go and type in PowerShell. So I'm going to go and press enter. And it should open up the PowerShell over on your computer. And then you're going to go and type in this code right here. Go and press enter. And it's going to start processing. And what that's essentially doing is, it's actually making another version of the game which is going to be for mods only. But if you want to play the original game of Dungeons, then it's actually quite easy to actually do that. You can just go on over to your search bar and just type in Micro Dungeons, and then you can just go and play the original game. But now if I go and click on Dungeons, and I go over to Content, we have Packs, and we're going to put in another folder. And this folder is going to have a squiggly line, and then you're going to go and type in Mods. So press Enter, and we're now ready to go and start installing some mods. So I'm going to go ahead and come over to a very cool website I found. And this basically gives you a bunch of different mods that you can essentially download for dungeons. So let's say we want to download Boss Rush. What Boss Rush does, basically this replaces Creeper Woods with a arena style minigame which allows you to fight different bosses inside of dungeons. And this is actually a very interesting mod that I really wanted to look at. I'm just going to go and click on download. And it's going to take us over to here. Click on free download. It's going to go and take you to this section. And if I go and click on download file, then it's going to go and download right here. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the zip file. And I'm going to drag the .pack file inside of there. And that's going to go ahead and go right into 
here. So there we go. Now I'm also going to go ahead and put my own skin right here as well. Now whenever you're ready to play modded dungeons, then you just go ahead and open up your start screen and go ahead and find micro dungeons modded. So we are now in micro dungeons and if I go and click on switch arrow and I click on change skin, as you're about to see, my skin is right here. So you can actually have your own skin inside the game, which yet again, if you want to get your own skin mod, then go ahead and check out the Doku Craft Discord server because they are literally giving these away for free and they're quite quick at it as well. And I like this a lot because now you don't have to rely on all these different skins. Instead, you can just have your own unique custom skin, which I like so much. But hopefully in the future, Mojang will actually make this an actual feature and not so much of a mod. But I have a feeling that whenever the game gets updated, then some of the mods probably will end up breaking unless the creators do update it which I'm really hoping that there will be a very good modding community whenever it comes to dungeons. But there we are inside the game and I have my skin and I'm going to go and come over to mission select and there's boss rush. So I'm actually going to go ahead and keep this on the smallest difficulty because this will have a lot of bosses inside of there and I have not been micro dungeons yet. So I actually have gone through most of the bosses but if I just go ahead and click on start mission it's going to go ahead and load up this custom loading screen and oh, this already looks scary. Like, this would be a really fun minigame if it was an actual thing. So the map was created by Tastic and the boss rush created by Magma Slimes 569 So I'm actually going to go and break these really quickly. Oh, we have Evokers. We have Evokers. This is crazy. So it's going to go and go through all the different bosses. Like, in pretty much in order. And this is going to be crazy. Oh, get out of your Vexes. No, like I recommend getting some really good armor for this, by the way. So that way you don't end up like dying very quickly like me. But let's go ahead and take out the evoker. Oh, oh, we're about to, we just died. We just died. But seriously, this would be a really fun thing to have us out of dungeons. Or even the ability of making custom levels as well. Now, maybe someone will make a mod for custom levels. Now, I think that would be really awesome if there was a mod out there that just allowed you to make like custom levels and things like that. But also, this will be a really good way for you to go and get yourself some really good loot. So anyway, I'm going to go and take out these guys. We have sold one more Evoker. So get back here, Evoker. And somehow, we're actually doing really well. No, get out of here, Vexes. Get out of here. All right, all right. Let's go and heal up really quickly. Let's go right after the Evoker. Let's also shoot him as well. Because why not? But let me get out of here. No, let me out of here. Oh, shoot him. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, one more shot. One more shot. Oh, he's down, he's down, he's down. Get the potion, get the potion. Go out to this guy. Alright, we are, we actually survived that. I'm actually very surprised. But let's go ahead and take out the zombie really quickly. And oh no, the cauldrons. Oh, I hated this boss fight so much. Oh no, 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 get out of here. Oh, no, 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 go, 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 go. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, okay, okay, let's go up. Oh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to defeat this one. There's no way I'm going to get past the cauldron. No, no, the fire is coming. The fire. I hate that fire so much. Uh, yeah, we're dead. We're dead. Game over. That was a game over. But other than that one, that is how you install mods for Minecraft Dungeons. And I, yet again, I cannot wait to see what people come up with for different mods. But I would also like to hear your thoughts down below in the comments or what you think of this. And if this did help you out, then let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day, and I will catch you next time. Bye!